everybody, John and get here. Hello and good evening. Greetings from Allentown, Pennsylvania. All right, the local time is 8:47. Temperature is 52 degrees, and we are empty and headed to Downing. Downing. Here's a conspiracy theory for you guys. I've always thought that uh, deep into the secret. Come on, are you gonna go straight or not? Hey Siri, call Little Everett. Calling Little Everett, welcome. 
Now, having that, having said that, okay, having said that, put that in your mind. I'm gonna say something that it, it is not, it is not geared or intended to be political, social. It just, it boggles my mind. I'm talking about the uh, the beer company, right? Now, everybody can understand that all they got to do. I mean, beer companies, they're out there to make money. They're, you know, they follow where the money is. Their beer companies are money hungry. Yeah, every company is. That's what their purpose is, to make money. I always thought that if this beer company would take a side, follow their base, which, you know, most of their people that drink their product are probably on the right side, not on the left side. People on the left side that they're trying to support, they're not their base. They're, they're, they're not into their world, I think. And so, I don't understand why these companies would alienate their base, their customers, their clientele. Now, they made, a, they made a mistake, or maybe somebody pushed them to do it. I don't know. But let's just say that they made a mistake, okay? Let's just say that it was an honest mistake. I, I could just see them coming out, come clean, and say, hey, we screwed up. We apologize. And we're gonna we're gonna go back to we're gonna go back to our original you know way of doing business which is patriotic America American beer all that stuff and they're gonna have to pick a side they may not even have to pick a side. I don't know, but let's just say they, let's just say they pick a side, right? They pick a side and they pick the the side of their base, and uh, I don't know, man. I could really see them. I could really see them winning it. I mean, they were, they would be heroes. They would themselves for generations to come. I really think that. I think people would just keep buying beer. In fact, I think some non-beer drinkers would probably just end up buying a few just to show support. And I think they know that. I, they can't be that stupid that they don't know that. So it begs the question of why they're not doing it. Are they really so gung-ho about choosing side on the left? Which apparently they're, they're suffering. They're, what, $8 billion and counting? Their stocks are about, what, 15, 25% down? They've been trying to redeem themselves with the with the uh, horrendous, you know, it, they came out with that uh, American, pro-American, uh, patriotic advertisement, which really was just a very, very insulting. I mean, it was like, yeah, let's just put out a good commercial out there. That'll be the end of it. Without the apology, and uh, let's just... They they underestimated how people hated the situation. 
And I think that was really insulting. So again, it begs the question why they're not doing it. And my conspiracy nature is, again, there are probably some secret society out there that they are more scared of than losing the business. Or they're more scared of than the, their clientele and their customers. I don't know. But what do you think? What do you think that uh, prevents them from doing the right thing? I mean, why would they be scared of the people on the left where... Ugh. Yes, somebody's calling me, gotta go, sorry, bye. Hey everybody, sorry about that interruption. Uh, AJ is having a problem with her scooter tire, keeps going flat. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, I think that uh, what in the possible way in a world scenario that this beer company could be so scared of. I mean, is it possible that there are some certain things that we don't know? I, I, I don't know. Alright, the local time here is 10.04. We are down to 14 miles to Downington. We are in, what is this? Main Street at Exton. Maybe where that's where we are. Exton, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, we're no longer in Kansas, that's for sure. Or maybe we are. Jeez, it's been like this for the last 10 miles. Two lane roads, really dark. We're way out in the country now. All right, the local time here is 1022. The temperature has dropped. It is now 47 degrees Fahrenheit. Fortunately, we are down to 2.6 miles to the shipper. Karen, wake up. Time to go to work, Karen. Bright lights, much people. Karen, hello. Continue on this road for 1.4 miles. There you are. Turn right on Booth Road. Booth Road. 
one of the things that I really miss about Grace is, of course, her headlights. Oh, there's no comparison. Her headlights on Grace is just phenomenal compared to um, Big Blue Junior. But the hood latch, not so much. This has always given me grief. Can't tell you how many times the boss has changed the. Uh... In 1,000 feet, turn right on Boot Road. Hood latch uh, cable. Certain things are just still better. Simple things, you know what I mean? Gotta make a right. We're actually in a little bit of a civilization. Okay, four two one Boot Road is on the left side. Yeah, left side of the road. Let me go check in. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, we've been assigned to door one. They uh, requested that uh, the temperature be set at minus 10 degrees.
I did mention that I really love backing up this truck, right? I did mention that, right? Yeah. <laughs> For good reason. Oh, look at that. Looks like One Shot John is back. Yes, sir. I think he is. Yes, sir. -y. One shot, John is back.